In the 1930s, many people got excited by the prospect of transmitting radio waves into the sky, not just to bounce off of aircraft or storm clouds, but actually to destroy aircraft. These death rays, as they became to be known, generated quite a lot of interest, and even Nikolai Tesla claimed that he could build a system that would destroy 10,000 aircraft and blast them out of the sky using beams of radio waves. In the UK, Robert Watson Watt, who had been working with Appleton on measurements of storm clouds with radio signals, was also approached and asked if he could build a system that could destroy an aircraft and knock it out of the sky. He did some calculations and his result was that no, you could probably, you would have to generate far too much energy in your beam in order to destroy an aircraft, but you could certainly detect it. Not only could you detect how far away it was, but you potentially could detect which direction it was coming from. In the 1930s, this was a fairly key moment in Europe and the prospect of being able to detect aircraft at night time and a great distance was of great interest to the uh, Ministry of Defence at the time. In 1935, Robert Watson Watt was awarded a patent for a pulsed radar system. Now, at the same time, there were many parts of the world where they were developing similar kinds of radar systems. So not only in the UK, but also in Germany, in America, in Japan, in Italy. Many countries were developing these radar systems, but because they were seen as military systems, they were all being developed in secret. But it's the patent of 1935 from Robert Watson Watt that is seen as a key turning point in the development of pulsed radar systems.